little while ago I did a video on headache cures or remedies for Bible believing Christians um, talking about the dangers of pharmaceutical drugs and why you should avoid those and uh, some natural remedies for ways to get rid of headache pain and in fact to eliminate headaches from happening in the first place so uh, you can watch that study but in the study I talked about cinnamon and the use of cinnamon in smoothies and things like that cinnamon being a good way to fight uh, hypoglycemia low blood sugar low blood sugar or high blood sugar can actually lead to headaches um, so I talked about cinnamon cinnamon's good at fighting diabetes and other things and um, so I was talking about cinnamon and I held up this thing of cinnamon just a regular store-bought ground cinnamon and uh, some of you said well you know you need to be careful about that because that's not it's it's cinnamon but it's not the really good medicinal stuff and so I I try to be accurate in my information so I checked into it and you were correct so I'm going to correct my previous statement um, the real stuff is why well, they're both they're both in the cinnamon family but the the good cinnamon the medicinal stuff is from Sri Lanka the other stuff is from um, China essentially so um, just discuss the differences between the two here real quickly um, I actually got this stuff on eBay this is actually from Sri Lanka there's a seller selling it I'll show you the difference between the two it's pretty pretty amazing um, I'll show you my source for saying it's different Here you have the, this is the typical stuff most people think of when they think of cinnamon, the cinnamon stick right there. And here's the stuff from Sri Lanka. Okay. This here is the medicinal type of cinnamon. This is too, but not nearly as strong as this. Okay. These are really, really, really hard. They're both tree bark, basically dried tree bark of a tree. And this one is extremely soft. You can just crumble it in your hands the the smell it's the distinctive cinnamon smell over here this stuff here it smells almost like a wine smell and I say that because I don't drink or anything I don't I'm, don't drink alcohol but I used to work at a fancy restaurant and I was a dishwasher so I got to smell plenty of the smell of fine wine but it's, it's a totally different smell very interesting but uh, much better for you the Sri Lanka variety than the Chinese variety um, just show you here the information on it. Um, give me a minute. Let me put the caps back on. But uh, here I have the Encyclopedia of Medicinal Plants. And on page 80, I have information here on cinnamon. And you can see up top there is the Latin above the word cinnamon. Latin, the botanical names for cinnamon, and then over here underneath the, the little pictures of the, of the like cuts of the twigs is the cassia. Okay, so and they get into a lot of the different things there about the difference between the two and what you can use them for and, and whatever else. And um, I believe it was it was the cassia cinnamon, the, the standard stuff that they said if you there were some studies. I was reading about online that uh, if you take too much of the regular this type of cinnamon here and not this this type here can actually give you some liver issues if you're taking it too much and uh, so this is the stuff that's much healthier for you um, so I, I just wanted to correct that to make that point clear um, and again you know do all things in moderation um, again the point was raised that uh, you don't want to take you know be drinking smoothies every day a couple times a day and just live on them things uh, you're going to get sugar from a lot of the, the fruits and things like that and too much sugar can spike insulin levels and you know moderation brethren okay so but i just wanted to make that point clear uh, because if you're just you know really doing a lot of the regular cassia cinnamon it can lead to some issues the other stuff from sri lanka is a lot better for you it's the one that is the true superfood so needed to make that correction so thank you very much out there for educating me on it it turns out i actually had the information right in my own library and just you know i don't i don't get to read everything you know a lot of this stuff is for documentation uh, i have read quite a few books in my life but i missed some things so thank you for the correction and uh check it out i think you'll enjoy it